After 10 months of waiting, Sora appears to be on the verge of release, and based on the previews, it is very impressive. Welcome back to the AI Daily Brief Headlines Edition, all the daily AI news you need in around five minutes. By the time you're watching or listening to this, it could already be out of date. It's day three of the 12 days of OpenAI or Shipmas, and it looks likely that Sora is coming today. Now, over the weekend, we started getting some preview videos. Rude van der Linden, the co-founder and CEO of Lot Video, tweeted, OpenAI's Chad Nelson showed this at the C21 Media keynote in London, and he said that we'll see it very soon, as Sam Altman has foreshadowed. The video includes this epic Viking battle scene, followed by something like an alien snow planet war scene. And alongside the video, we got some details including one-minute video outputs and the fact that it was both text-to-video plus text-to-image-to-video plus text-to-video-to-video. The response can be very summed up by Alex Volkoff of Thursday AI, who said, I take back everything I said about other video models catching up to Sora, even remotely. Leaked video of Sora version 2, multiple scenes, and just incredible character consistency. P.S. If this is coming as part of the $200 per month pro tier, OpenAI is about to see a lot of new subs. Now, pricing is one big question. I'm not sure that even at the $200 per month, this can be economical for OpenAI, but we'll just have to wait and see. Sika Chen writes, I thought this kind of quality was maybe a year away, but here we are. Ethan Malik writes, if this is real, it's a big leap in video generation over even the Chinese models. I guess we will see. Sim Altman, meanwhile, on Saturday tweeted, I am so, so excited for what we have to launch on day three. Monday feels so far away. But of course, Elon wasn't about to let Sam Altman have all the fun. And his team responded over the weekend by announcing XAI's new image generator, Aurora. For a brief few hours on Friday night, XAI users got to play with this new image model. Elon Musk explained, this is our internal image generation system, still in beta, but it will improve fast. Based Beth Jezos writes, XAI casually releasing one of the best image models on a Saturday at 2 a.m. Y'all are built different for real. Alex Volkoff again says, so this new Grok image generation model called Aurora just shipped on a Saturday. What do we think, folks? Looks like trained by them, no evals or details, just here you go, use the theme. Seems focused on photorealism. So what do we think? Well, TechCrunch had a few gripes. They wrote, X users posted Aurora-generated images showing objects blending unnaturally together and people without fingers. Although when I searched around, I actually couldn't find any examples of that. Stylistically, the model goes a little heavy on a soft focus bokeh background, but that's not really a complaint. What there are are tons and tons of photorealistic generated images, ranging from Tesla vehicles to stylistic landscapes, Lots of people point out that the model excels at celebrity portraits. We have Bill Murray dressed up as Abe Lincoln, Adam Sandler and Ray Romano palling it up on the set for a show they never actually did together, Captain Jean-Luc Picard in a Santa hat, even Sam Altman pining after Scarlett Johansson. The model even does a great job rendering the particular unique characteristics of faces, with the portrait of Ilya Sutskever complete with his characteristic moles and jowls. What we didn't get is an explanation of why the model was pulled down after such a short time. It may have been intended as a brief demo, or the team could have found some unforeseen issues with its release. Like the existing Flux model that drives Grox image generation, Aurora seems to have basically no guardrails in what you could create in terms of real people or copyrighted material. Nudes were banned, but that was basically the only prompt Aurora would refuse. For example, it had zero qualms producing Luigi boxing with Mickey Mouse. Solopreneur Peter Levels was impressed, posting, From quick glance, Grox's new image model Aurora looks higher in detail than Flux for generating photos of people. What's crazy is how they've been able to create an entirely new image model so fast. Or is it a partnership with Black Forest Labs who makes Flux? And that is the other lingering question. Are Black Forest Labs and other auxiliary model providers still viable if XAI is capable of spinning up this kind of model in-house, or are they actually the secret to this model? As a small addendum, XAI has also released their Grok chatbot for free with a limit of 20 prompts and 10 images every two hours. In case you had any doubt, the team is clearly intent on taking OpenAI on in the new year. Chris Park, an XAI developer, took a pot shot, responding to Sam Altman's post about Monday's reveal, saying, XAI doesn't need to wait until Monday. This team is too cracked and stays shipping. Congrats, XAI, for releasing a brand new image generation model, Aurora. Grok 2 and Aurora is now available with your X app in the model selector. Oh, by the way, Grok 3 is coming. Lastly, one more model announcement. Meta have released a new version of their 70B model, calling the release Llama 3.3. Ahmad El Dale, Meta's VP of Gen AI, crossed over to rival social media platform X to make the announcement, tweeting, Introducing Llama 3.3, a new 70B model that delivers the performance of our 405B model, but is easier and more cost-efficient to run. By leveraging the latest advancements in post-training techniques, including online preference optimization, 
This model improves core performance at a significantly lower cost, making it even more accessible to the entire open source community. The benchmarks they shared are impressive, a close comparison to Gemini Pro 1.5 and GPT-40. The model is also in line with Amazon's new Nova Pro, which was positioned as the lowest cost frontier model. Nova Pro was priced at a third of the cost of GPT-40, while Llama 3.3 is priced at an eighth of the cost of Nova Pro or 1 25th the cost of OpenAI's offering. The model comes with a 128K context window, which is the same as GPT-40, and equivalent to around 400 pages of text. It's text only for now and available as open source from Hugging Face. To give a sense of how important this size reduction is, VentureBeat did some back of the napkin math. They suggested a 24 fold reduction in GPU load compared to other Frontier models. This also brings the power of a Frontier model down to a size that could feasibly be run on consumer hardware. Aoni Hanoon, a machine learning researcher at Apple, wrote Llama 3.370B 4 bit runs nicely on a 64 gigabyte M3 Max, would be even faster on an M4 Mac. Yesterday's server-only 405B is today's laptop 70B. The model certainly seems to add evidence for the theory of model distillation, the idea that the performance of Frontier models can be jammed into a smaller size with some clever post-training. Ultimately, the battle right now is not only for the state of the art, but for cost-effectiveness. AI educator Paul Covort writes, Meta has just released Llama 3.370B, which is more powerful than GPT-40 and 25x cheaper. Open source is really winning at every level. Lots of exciting stuff out there. Like I said, I'm afraid that by the time this goes live, it will already be out of date. But here we are. That is AI. But for now, that's going to do it for today's headlines. Up next, the main episode.